SlickEdit allows you to customize all the toolbars by adding or removing buttons or changing the commands they run. You may want to watch the video, How to Find a Command Name in SlickEdit, if you've not already done so. For this demonstration, we're going to add a button to run the command Selective Display, which launches the Selective Display dialog. This command requires that there is a file open. If you aren't familiar with Selective Display, you may want to look at the playlist Selective Display on our YouTube channel. First, we'll go to View, Toolbars, Customize. Most sections have buttons with commands already defined, but you can modify the commands. We're going to pick a button from the User Definable Tools section where no commands are set. We'll pick a button that seems appropriate for Selective Display and drag it to the standard toolbar. Now we'll dismiss this dialog. Right click on our new button and select Properties. First, we need to fill in the command name. This combo box has completion, so as likely, you will not have to type the whole command name before finding it. Next, we'll fill the message in with something that makes sense. Now we will click the Auto Enable button to tell SlickEdit when this button is available. In this case, the selections that are here already apply, but we also want to allow this in read only mode. Now we will dismiss the dialogs. When we click the button, you can see the Selective Display dialog has been launched. Also, if we close the current file, you'll notice that the button automatically disables itself. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com trial.